Hello and welcome back to the Magnetic Island Adventure-thon where Guy Andrews has just hit shore as the first male individual competitor, but it's Mick DeRoy from Team Bearded Monkeys just ahead who is really setting the pace. I knew Guy Andrews and um, Sam Clark would be very proficient paddlers, you know, Guy being ex Ironman champion, so you know he's able to handle the water pretty well. As far as the race goes, this is a challenging race. It's a, you have to think, you have to plan, you have to know what you're doing, you have to have done the work so you can at least competently complete the course. Although you might think the fastest and lightest boat might be a good idea at the time, but knowing your own ability and getting your practice in will sure come in handy when tackling the two 13 kilometre paddles. The biggest lesson I think for people is just take a boat that you know you can paddle. Um, you know, I've taught a few people to paddle before and, and everyone gets in the flat water fine and they want a faster and faster boat, but the, the thing they need to realise is when they do get in some of the ocean conditions that they need, something that they can paddle in rough conditions and be confident on. It sounds such a fairy tale, kind of romantic, oh I'm going to go to a you know, tropical island, here we are at Magneto Island and paddle around the coast and it's like, oh that sounds amazing, but it's actually really quite tricky. Well, Magnetic Island is a great place to visit, um, you know, so much to do, there's, there's great diving, there's great fishing, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the greatest paddle venues I think in the country, awesome walking tracks that we can run on. Um, a few really treacherous and hardcore uh, mountain biking sections and so the whole thing you know together is, is pretty awesome. When you're over there it's sort of small enough that it feels like everybody's there for the race and you know we've got this sort of you know captive island sort of feeling where everybody sort of knows what's going on and yeah, it's kind of a cool cool feeling. When you step out of your comfort zone that's where you really find what you're truly capable of. One man that really pushes the boundaries of what's possible is injured war veteran Sergeant Michael Lydiard that shows it's really mind over matter when conquering this race. I, I, I guess you could say it's empowering but at the same time it enriches you in regards to how you engage life or the way you just get out there and try to push yourself mentally and physically. You know, you're know, you enriching the fact that you're out in the elements, you're out battling the um, currents in the water and when you get onto the bike, for myself personally, you're battling you know, to try to stay onto the bike and then when you're running you're just, you know, obviously um, trying to beat through that dehydration and try to get to the finish line. I think of the cold beer that's waiting at the end, I guess. Um, <laughs> um, oh, look, you know, everyone hurts and I think that's a, a good thing, way to look at it. Everyone's hurting, um, you know, you, you try to look for the inner strength within yourself and try to remember what it's all about. You know, you're out here to have fun but at the same time you're trying to find that limit or your boundary and you push through it. You're just trying and get through and get your nutrition right. I think nutrition and hydration was the key to, do, uh, to doing well in this event. Heading out onto the 28 kilometre mountain bike, Andrews took off with Clark in hot pursuit, knowing that Smythe and Stedman were also on the chase. Our women's field were also feeling the heat, but feeling a little something else as well, with a sense of positivity in the air. Racing should be fun as well, so, and I do have lots of fun with that, yeah. Andrea is a pretty competent mountain biker. She has previously won a 24-hour mountain bike race. Um, she's more than capable of lasting the distance. She is able to technically ride. Uh, Andrea should do really well on the mountain bike course. Jess is a full-time professional athlete. Um, you know, Jess should be pretty strong on the bike. We, you know, we know that she's pretty awesome. She can get herself through that uh, spates coast to coast. Um, you know, really road and hilly, um, so it's really about fitness in those types of things. The bike's got a lot of different facets, you know, there's road and there's some really gnarly um, mountain climbing with your bike and then some very rugged descending, which I enjoyed and uh, that's sort of, I've been doing a lot of that style of riding back home and, and on the Gold Coast and, and uh, I love that part, it was probably too short for me. I knew that racing against Jess was going to be tough and so that kind of scared me a little, so then if I think I can't, then I must. That's kind of a little motto of mine. You're coming right out to the forts, turn off to the forts there, and it is cooking hot. You get put a little bit of water on your head and you're just like, oh, I just want to jump into this and just swim in this cold water forever, but you couldn't do it. Well, there was a bottle of water on your head and that was it. You wanted to pull out, you wanted to strip your gear off, get your helmet off, but no, nah, that's where the mindset comes in, where you've got to be mentally tough to be able to, right, we've only got a bit more to go, and then we're going to go downhill. We're going to race back to the finish line. Where we are at home, it would have been um, at least 10 degrees cooler at this time of year. So, I mean, that's just the, the biggest variable that we've, that we've come across that's, um, that's, that's made it a lot difficult. Right. 
for drink. What it really means to be adventurous is to just want a little bit more. So, you know, try something that's a little bit harder than what you could do yesterday. And it really doesn't matter where that point is, as long as you're just trying to, you know, push that boundary a little bit more, that's being adventurous. Coming up, we'll see who is first to return to transition and out quick onto the run, the best views on course from Townsville Helicopters, and the luxury places to stay while on the island. <laughs>